Hello there. It's March 2020, and the world, if you are uh, in March 2020, as you know, is nuts. Um, but during January of 2020, I was in the Philippines in my grandparents' house, and they have a lot of stuff that my mum sent over, and then her family was just like, we don't really know what to do with these. And one of those things was this set of tablecloths which I found in a wardrobe and I was like, I like these. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take them. Uh, so I did. And I have these two dresses, uh, which I think are probably from the 70s. Um, and I will show you them now. Uh, here's me wearing them. Uh, the first one is a mini dress and it's, it came like that. It was that short. And then the second one was a maxi dress. So it was kind of down to my ankles and I thought it was dumb. So I cut it. Uh, and I really, really like both of them. I'm not really a dress wearer most of the time. I, I, I prefer to kind of just wear leggings. <laughs> um, and I don't have a lot of formal occasions to go to, but at New Year's I wore the, the rainbow one and I was like, yes, this is great. Maybe I want to make my own. Uh, so I, I tested it out by making this one here. It's red. And, um... So I, I kind of traced around the rainbow one uh, to, to just to see if I could do it. And I'm going to show you the whole situation um, of me trying to make a dress based on these tablecloths. Because I just thought, ah, this, this looks great. I'll zoom, the, I'll zoom this and not me. Which now it's blurry. Um, it looks great. It's just fantastic. It's so, I think, 70s and beautiful. This orange tree in purple, orange, and then cyan rather than green. You may notice my face. There's no purple, but there is orange and blue. Anyway, let's just get into uh, the clips I recorded previously. The first step was to look for inspiration. So I googled orange fruit fabric patterns, uh, vintage ones specifically. I really wanted 70s because that's kind of the vibe the tablecloth gave me. And obviously I did have the tablecloths to look at, um, they were the main inspiration, but looking at other things is nice. Um, so I basically just got started drawing it. I knew I wanted to have the oranges on there. So that is what I did. Um, and my own, my own drawing style is pretty characteristic of like wobbly lines. Um, the lines are all closed up. It's not too far off what the tablecloth already had on it. Um, I, I tried to kind of look at it closely and use the same colors, the white markings, etc etc I drew one full orange and then I did also have some orange segments uh not the segments that you can currently see me drawing a different a different orange slice uh, when it came to color I was trying to basically pick from a photo I'd taken of the tablecloth and then maybe making a couple of adjustments if it looked too dark or too light depending overall I was pretty happy just with like eye dropping it um, and the way I make tiled patterns is I, I found this artist, her name is Julia Rothman. She does a lot of, um, repeat patterns of objects and she has, um, she has a Skillshare tutorial, which I can put a link, um, for, and it was how to create a repeat pattern, but on paper, but I just applied the same principles to the screen. Um, so the next thing to do was then make the dress itself and, I don't have pattern paper, so this is me tearing up a copy of the New Internationalist, I think is what it's called. It's a magazine my sister is subscribed to, um, but she doesn't really read them, so I just ripped it up and used it as pattern paper. Taped the pieces together and then, um, yeah, it's, it's very um, eco-conscious of me to just not buy new paper and use this old paper. Uh, so... I, I pinned the the existing dress on, the rainbow dress, this is my favourite one. I pinned it on and then drew around um each surface as it was pinned to the pinned to the paper. Um traced around it and then I added a seam allowance, you know, so you can sew it, and then cut out all the pieces. I had front and back pieces and sleeves and there they are, look at that. There's the, well, there's the paper. After working on some commissions, 
selling drawings in order to earn enough to buy the fabric, I bought it. I got it from printfab.com, which is uh, really good, I would say. Um, it was affordable enough considering what it was that I wanted. Obviously, I shouldn't be spending lots of money all at once on a project for myself, but I just wanted to, and these are desperate times. So I, I ordered the fabric from Primfab. It was economy cotton, two meters of it, and it cost me about 45 quid with shipping included. And yeah, it's um, it's definitely exactly what I hoped for. It's really nice to have something to use that you made yourself and then somebody printed and now it's fabric. Um, so the next part is sewing, sewing it all together. Look, bobbin thread time. Um, zipper... I whew, never did one before. Watch my hands struggle now to just... I just got to get it open. Come on, me. Um, anyway, I used a video tutorial. The channel is called Made Every Day. And it made things a lot easier for me. But I did finish the top by hand because I got nervous and everything kept slipping out of place and I was stressed. Um, sewing the whole dress together was fine. I, I have made shirts before. I, I studied textiles in high school but I never got to do garments because you had to you had to make a skirt first to prove yourself and I didn't make the skirt correctly so I made made toys for my textiles GCSE and now after all this time finally I'm tackling shoulders which are the hardest thing in the world for me to do and I eventually did do it oh! I mean I'm glad it's over um but you know putting together the whole dress is fine I just sort of running stitched along and how beautiful does it look? So excited. The last thing I did was sew all the hems and stuff by hand. I was trying to kind of copy what I saw on my vintage dresses. And yeah, the whole thing, here it is. Now that it's finished, I'm just glad that it's it's done. Obviously from this shot, it does need ironing. But I'm going to put it on, you'll see. Um, I showed it off to my mum and she said, well done, maybe add pockets. And I was like, fantastic idea, but I'm not going to do it today. I showed it to my brother and he was like, that's a nice giant t-shirt. Um, so I'm taking that as a high compliment. I'm really happy with it in the end. It's nice to have something that I made custom, like the whole way, uh, from the pattern and then, you know, sewing it myself and getting to wear it. I made something for someone else before, but not yet for me. So this is cool. Hello, here I am wearing the dress now and I can't really display it very well uh, because I have nowhere to put my phone camera or stand. I wish I had like a clear background and that would make things <sighs> at least a little easier on the eyes. Like coats, wardrobe, this room is all clutter. Um, I'm just going to sit prim and properly and just do a bit of a... Oh, look at that. Um, my earrings. I didn't have any that matched. I was hoping I had some orange earrings because I have a couple fruit pears, but apparently not oranges. Um, the 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 centers are yellow, but I just temporarily covered over them with orange Posca so that it could look coordinated. And I look so very bold because I recently like shaved my head to a one, which I don't usually do. Um, and now it's just like scalp galore. So especially from just here where the top of my head isn't visible, it's like, oh, she bald. It's okay, look, look at my scalp. Full tangerine head. Add a leaf here. Uh, overall, I think I am very happy with this, even though at times I was like in major despair. Uh, and just for comparison, here is the tablecloths again. Um, to, I mean, the purple is not the same. The blue is pretty... All of my colours are a bit brighter and the leaves aren't quite as dense line-wise. And I didn't use the tree or these other flowers or the butterflies. Because um, I wanted to keep it a bit so it still looks like it's a new pattern but inspired by this. Ah! Now I just hope I will get the chance to re-emerge into society and wear it. Uh, this is the end now, so thank you for watching. I hope it was enjoyable, and goodbye.